Hello guys and welcome back to my channel Firewall Gang. Uh, today I'm going to show you how you can do the advanced troubleshooting uh, in terms of like if you want to do some uh, kernel debugs for various issues you received uh, based on your uh, you know customer complaints. So today we are going to understand one scenario where a uh, user is trying to complain uh, or he's complaining that uh, the website is trying to access you know sometime uh, he's getting uh, you know access to that website but sometime the access is denied or you know uh, it's it's getting a request timeout some uh, kind of error or it's a slowness sort of uh, you know errors so uh, in this video i'll be uh, you know walk you through how you can you know do the kernel debug and how we can you know give the uh, perfect uh, uh, response to the user that what is exactly happening to the firewall. So although uh, this lab uh, is more intensive and in-depth troubleshooting, so uh, you should have some basic knowledge on the checkpoint firewall. So uh, if you don't have those knowledge, please go ahead and watch my previous videos and come back to this uh, lab or video and take uh, take this thing from there. So basically. Uh, uh, user is trying to complain, but uh, the checkpoint administrator like you and me, we are saying, okay, the logs is already there. Okay, the communication is already allowed. We can see the, you know, uh, the packet is getting accepted and uh, all those things are in place, but still complain, uh, user is complaining. So how you can, you know, give him uh, uh, details like uh, what is going on? You can't give him this screenshot and just tell him that, okay, uh, the packet is accepting and there is no further role from the firewall that's it uh, we have to give them a, a proper justification proper uh, response and sometimes they call it like a root cause analysis from the firewall perspective if something is happening on the firewall so you have to consider all those things in your mind and accordingly you need to give the result uh, for now let's uh, understand this scenario and uh, let's perform a, a debug so uh, before performing the debug, I just want to give you the commands, uh, which I'm going to refer now for the debugging part. Uh, let me take my pen here. And so this is basically the kernel debug and we are going to uh, uh, write those commands uh, into the uh, checkpoint uh, firewall gateway. And we'll find the output from there. So just note down this command. The number one command when you have, I mean, when you're going to uh, run this debug. So uh, number one command you need to write fw ctl debug and then zero. This zero indicates that, okay, we are initiating the uh, debug. Then, fw ctl uh, debug. Then you need to allocate uh, some buffer size for your debug. So usually, uh, whatever we can assign. Best is you can go for, uh, What is that? Three two seven six eight. Next, uh, third command. Now you have initiated the debug. Uh, you have allocated the buffer for your debug. Then you have to give the actual command where the debug is. Uh, I mean, the uh, how the communication will capture. So the command is fwctl uh, debug. Then you need to set a flag. Uh, so here we are setting M uh, for a kernel debug. And then give the uh, 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 model, which model we need to go for. So basically this M flag stand for the model. And then the model name is firewall. Then what you are going to capture is the connection. So give it a name like connection. 
and uh, then what you are interested to so let's see we are interested to you know uh, capturing the packet if any, anything is getting dropped and for virtual machine or a vm right well uh, this stand for your actual machine which uh, we are you know actually referring for the communication once this is the important command guys and then once that is done uh, for the command you need to store this output although you can you know see this output on your uh, cli <laughs> itself but if you want to store that output uh, you need to write a command fw uh, ctl then k debug uh, then for storing this is the syntax minus t minus f and then you have to store where you want var log and give it a name say uh, kernel dot for example like that dbg is your extension right once you have you know put it this much commands then next you need to reproduce your issue so you have to ask your customer to reproduce the issue basically ask him to you know just go ahead and uh, log into that website or try to access that website and last step you need to stop all these debugs so the simple command is fw uh, ctl uh, debug zero <laughs> so basically uh, this command and this command is similar command so uh, basically uh, we are not initiating the communication here it's it's like we are just you know uh, stopping whatever the debugs we have all, all, uh, already running on so uh, pardon me uh, for the uh, initial talk i told like this is the initiation it's not like that it's just a we are stopping the debugs whichever we are uh, you know we we have with our firewall the actual debug going to start from here like allocating the buffer size and the commands and then the sort of things okay uh, i hope uh, this part is clear uh, now let's go ahead and you know run this command reproduce this issue and uh, take it from there so let me go back to my gateway let me set the screen size Uh, 16 will be enough. 192, 168, 1.101. Username and password. Let me show you. This is my uh, active gateway. <coughs> so right now we are at the active gateway and we are running command from there uh, let me clear the screen now uh, let's go ahead and uh, write the first command at wctl z debug zero this command usually stops all the debugs what we have running with my firewall so it says uh, defaulting all the kernel debugging options debug state was reset to the default which is zero then next command set the buffer fwctl uh, z debug buffer size give it 32768 uh, so we have uh, located the buffer size so initiating the kernel debug buffer size to 8192k okay maybe that will be the calculation and now let's start to run the debug command wctl debug then the flag module then give it a model name then we are interested in connections and basically the drop connections for the vm so updating the color debug variable for module if firewall debug flags updated now that is done uh now we are interested to store this output to the uh one of my file let me see where i am 
so I am at the admin stage. I am admin directory. AWCTL key debug T uh, F let me store ET var log and give it a name like kernel debug dot dbc file and now we need to represent the issue so for example i am going to my this windows server and from there i'm going to uh, access a website like checkpoint.com www.checkpoint.com so i have i'm able to access the website okay but uh, i'm getting some certificate issues let's see uh, what output we are getting now so this is what uh, the issue has got produced and now uh, we have to say control c to stop this and then let's see if we can stop the debug it has got stopped let me clear the screen let me go to the well log change to our log and let's see if we have ls dot l the file name is what file name we are given a kernel kernel debug dot dbg dbg okay the file is already there and uh, uh, it has some data as well so now let me uh, just do this let me go ahead and uh, we can take that file to a command prompt or we can run from here if i if we do like this you will get the output but better take this file to the uh, your VNSCP server from the VNSCP server to the, uh, the desktop and see from there what we can see as an output. So let me log in to the gateway 192.168.1.101 admin and the password. Okay, this is always I feel. Change shell. Change shell. Okay, now we try it. We need to go to the var log directory. This is var. This is log. Here there is somewhere we have stored that kernel debug file. This one. So let me take that here. So I'm taking it to the pcap files, for example. Uh, kernel debug dbc. So it is on the location. This or well, maybe I'm just for now I'm just taking this on a uh, desktop you can say. Just for a sec. I'll go for the license for now. Just for the sake, I just want you to open that file. I don't want to you know open some so I have put it into a license directly. 
Okay, it's got open to my other PC. Let's see if we can open this file. Uh, what? Let's see. Hope we can see the output uh, from the Word file. Yes. So uh, as you can see, sorry. Uh, as you can see, uh, this is what the kernel debug we have run. And uh, this is the basic details for the file. So this comes by default from the gateway itself. The actual data you will find here. So this is actually the lookup uh, uh, look is happening. So what are the, I mean, we capture entire files for the drop. So whatever the drops are happening, you will see here, right? So currently some anti-spoofing is happening on the for this IP address. But uh, our interest is IP address, which was 192.168.1.20, I believe. Okay, so this is the search for that. So I'm trying to see more into the file. So if you look in this file and go in deeper, you will see how the packet is processing, right? What lookups are in coming into the place and what other things are happening. I think this is the uh, the entry uh, which uh, maybe for the checkpoint firewall. Let's see. Uh, let me see here. What is for that uh, I just wanted to find what IP address is that so probably it is our checkpoint firewall IP address not sure but let's see 